Hello and welcome back to Bamboo Batu. Today we've got a little something different for you. Don't worry, we're still talking about bamboo, as always. But today we're talking about bamboo and mythology. There are some incredible bamboo stories and legends and myths out there from all different ancient cultures from around the world. And super interesting to see how bamboo is interwoven into these cultures and into human history. And if you love bamboo like I do, it's it's fascinating. And if you love mythology like I do, it's also fascinating. Um, yeah, so let's get on with it. Today's myth is called the beautiful and the strong. This is from the Philippines, an old Filipino myth um, about bamboo, partly about bamboo. Um, so once upon a time, there was a time before the time so the myth starts out like many myths in a, in a time of darkness and emptiness and uh, the void and there was a great nothingness before before the earth and before people and before everything and then along came a little birdie and the birdie was was free and happy and flying across the sky and flying and flying and flying but in this time before before life before earth there was no land there was no earth there was only sky and so the bird just flew and flew and eventually its wings got pretty tired and he got kind of weary and he kept on flying and then one day he just flapped his wings as hard as he could he flapped and he flapped and he flapped and he flapped until he caused a great thunderstorm to occur and the rains came down and the rains came down and poured and poured heavily. Uh, a little bit like some other mythology we may have heard about floods and storms and wreaking havoc from the heavens. And it rained and it rained and it rained. And not only did it rain water, raindrops from the clouds, it also rained big chunks of earth. And the chunks of earth came falling down into the sea. And the sea was filled with islands uh the story comes from the philippines after all which is a chain of islands in the uh pacific ocean close to japan north of indonesia you can consult your atlas if you don't remember exactly where the philippines are located but it's a chain of islands and so the story makes sense how, how the islands were formed i always like it when the mythology explains certain land forms and other other um, facts of life on earth. And so this was, was the story of how the islands were formed by this little bird flapping its wings. And so now the bird was pretty happy. The bird could come down from the sky and land on the ground and fly over the islands and perch in the trees. And it found a nice place to build a nest. And guess where that was? Of course, he built his nest in a bamboo tree in a bamboo forest. He found a nice little nook with a dirty little branch and he built his nest and he was quite happy there for some time the happy little bird and that was his home but don't worry this isn't the end of the story yet the uh, then one day a bamboo pole came crashing down on the little bird's head and gave him a bad bonk on the head this is him in his little nest here you can see that pole right there it's kind of leaning over the bamboo in the picture here is going it's a flowering. If you look at the details, it's a flowering bamboo. So it may be close to its, its um, expiration date. And for whatever reason, the bamboo pole tipped over and knocked the bird on the head. And the bird was very upset, as you would also be if you'd been knocked on the head by a heavy bamboo pole. And so the bird took the bamboo pole and started pecking at it with its sharp beak. Peck, 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 peck. And guess what popped out of that bamboo? It cracked open and out popped a little woman and a little man. And the man was the strong and the woman was the beautiful. Hence the name of the myth, the beautiful and the strong. There's a name for it in the Filipino language, of course, but I don't recall what it was. And I couldn't pronounce it very well anyway. So it's translated as the beautiful and the strong. So there they came out of the bamboo and this was the first man and the first woman. <clears throat> so a bit like Adam and Eve created in the garden of Eden, but these were, um, the first man and first woman popped out of the middle of the hollow bamboo pole. Pretty great concept. There's actually 
quite a few myths like that from the, the tropical world that involve the first man, first woman coming out of the center of a bamboo pole. Um, interesting pattern that you can find if you study bamboo mythology. Anyway, that's how these guys started out. They popped out of the bamboo poles and the beautiful and the strong, not surprisingly, they got married. They built a little bamboo hut there in the bamboo forest and they lived very happily. And then one thing led to another. And guess what happened next? Of course, they had lots of little babies and little children running all around the bamboo forest, happy. And that was quite a, quite a big, large, happy, prosperous family. And the children were playful. The children were loud. The children were noisy. The children got into trouble. They were little typical little whippersnappers that children can be. And gradually the man and the woman, the beautiful and the strong, they became, um, they lost their patience with the children as parents sometimes do. And they shouted and told the children to stop it and to be quiet and to behave. And eventually they yelled so loud that they chased the children away. And it was very sad. And the man and the woman were left there in the forest alone with a bad case of empty nest syndrome because they chased their children away. And the children ran into the house to hide. And this is one of my favorite parts of the story. Some of the children hid in the walls and some of them hid in different places. And the ones that hid in the bedrooms, they formed the, well, each, each, each group of children that hid in different places ended up forming different tribes on, on earth and different races and different ethnicities and different groups. And so the, the children that hid in the bedrooms became the Kings and the Queens, the children that hid in the walls of the house became the slaves. The children that hid in the fireplace came out with dark skin. And then there were some children who ran to hide out in the ocean. They ran out into the sea and swam away. And then hundreds of years later, those children came back and those were the conquistadors, the Spanish explorers who came and conquered the islands of the Philippines. And that is the story of the beautiful and the strong. And I think it's a great story. I love stories that involve around bamboo and especially when, when human creation emerges from the inside of a bamboo pole, it just shows how, how interconnected we are with bamboo, how useful it is in our lives and in our culture and, and human history and how it's an integral part of, of humanity. And also the end part, I really love how, how they use the myth to explain different, different types of people, different groups, different populations, different ethnicities. Um, it's always interesting how myths do that. No, uh, you know, no judgment on any of the different groups being better or worse than any others. Um, but it just shows how, you know, they were separated in this early uh, primordial time before, before human civilization, uh, in the time of myth, they scattered in different directions and then they came back later as humanity evolved. And we see the different races, different skin colors, different, uh, socioeconomic positions, and even the, the conquistadors who came later from Spain and arrived out of the sea, which of course, at that time, if you're a Filipino and all these boats full of people speaking a different language with a different colored skin, wearing completely different clothing, riding horses, wearing armor, they must've been completely mind blown. And so. They had no way to wrap their mind around it without some powerful myth like this to explain it. Cool, deep, fascinating stuff. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And we will see you next time. Don't forget to click the buttons, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to, tell your friends, make Bambi Bacha your new favorite. And we'll be back next week. All right. See you next time. Thank you.